Speaking of which, how is Hansel son? He's good. Has his sushi gotten any better? No, I couldn't believe it. You got him to make you sore. It was easy. I just dropped your name, Bill. <laughs> That'd do it. I suppose the idea is we cross Hansa swords, am I right? Well, it just so happens this hacienda has its own private beach. And that private beach just so happens to look particularly beautiful, bathed in moonlight. And there just so happens to be a full moon out tonight. So, sword fighter, if you want a sword fight, that's where I suggest. But if you want to be old school about it, and you know I'm all about old school, <laughs> then we could wait until dawn and slice each other up at sunrise like a couple of real life honest. <laughs> now, if you don't settle down, I'm going to have to put one in your kneecap. And I hear tell that's a very painful place to get shot in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Now, when it comes to you and us, <laughs> I have a few unanswered questions. So, before this tale of bloody revenge reaches its climax, I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to tell me the truth. However, Therein lies a dilemma. Because when it comes to the subject of me, I believe you are truly and utterly incapable of telling the truth, especially to me, and least of all, to yourself. And when it comes to the subject of me, I am truly and utterly incapable of believing anything you say. How do you suppose we solve this dilemma? Well. It just so happens, I have a solution. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> what the fuck did you just shoot me with? My greatest invention, or at least my favorite. Don't touch it, or I'll stick another one right in your cheek. What lies within that dart? Just begging to course its way through your veins is an incredibly potent and quite infallible truth serum. I call it the undisputed truth. Twice as strong as sodium pentothal with no druggy after effects, except for a slight wave of euphoria. You feel it? Euphoria? Yeah. No. As you know, I'm quite keen on comic books, especially the ones about superheroes. I find the whole mythology surrounding superheroes fascinating. Take my favorite superhero, Superman. Not a great comic book, not particularly well drawn. Mm. But the mythology the mythology is not only great, it's unique. How long does this shit take to go into effect? About two minutes. Just long enough for me to finish my point. Now, a staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. He has to put on a costume to become Spider-Man. 
And it is in that characteristic Superman stands alone. Superman didn't become Superman. Superman was born Superman. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. His outfit with the big red S. That's the blanket he was wrapped in as a baby when the Kents found him. Those are his clothes. What Kent wears, the glasses, the business suit, that's the costume. That's the costume Superman wears to blend in with us. Clark Kent is how Superman views us. And what are the characteristics of Clark Kent? He's weak. He's unsure of himself. He's a coward. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. Sort of like Beatrix Kiddo and Mrs. Tommy Plimpton. Ah, so the point emerges. You would have worn the costume of Arlene Plimpton, but you were born Beatrix Kiddo. And every morning when you woke up, you'd still be Beatrix Kiddo. Oh, you can take the needle out. Are you calling me a superhero? I'm calling you a killer. A natural born killer. You always have been, and you always will be. Moving to El Paso. Working in a used record store. Going to the movies with Tommy. Clipping coupons. That's you. Trying to disguise yourself as a worker bee. That's you trying to blend in with the hive. But you're not a worker bee. You're a renegade killer bee. And no matter how much beer you drank or barbecue you ate or how fat your ass got, nothing in the world would ever change that. First question. Did you really think your life in El Paso was going to work? No. But I would have had baby. Don't get me. I think you would have been a wonderful mother. But you are a killer. All those people you killed to get to me felt damn good, didn't they? Yes. Every single one of them. Yes. That was the warm-up round. Now comes the $64,000 question. Why did you run away from me? <laughs> <laughs> 